signing day for us and uh, couldn't be happier uh, with what happened and what we got and the, the class and the group that's coming in and uh, obviously filling needs for us uh, in the immediate and needs for us uh, in the future. And uh, that to me is, is so important. And uh, you know, you look at, at some of the immediate needs to talk about, I know I probably just haven't spent a lot of time talking about the two guys uh, came in early with Jacques Johnson and uh, Nick Fitzgerald, obviously two high knee positions, one on the offensive line uh, with some guys leaving last year, a guy that can get enrolled early, get to go through spring practice, and uh, most importantly, quarterback, where, you know, fortunately, we had three this year. I've gone through a couple seasons with two, and that one have worked out really well for us this year. Uh, the, um, so those guys are here to go through spring practice uh, and really excited about them. When you, when you look uh, at the class as a whole, I'm excited about, the, you know, not just the quality of players that are coming in, but the character of players that are coming in. And, and that, to me, is, is really important um, in what we've tried to build here and the type of guys we, we look for. Uh, to me, the, the class, really, when you look at that, it's headlined by Gary Green, um, who, in my opinion, would be the best player in the state of Mississippi. I know, I, I guess, in, in all yours opinion, it's... Uh, uh, Aris Williams, right, because he was the state player of the year, but uh, in my opinion, not that Aris is good, Aris is really good too, and I'm excited about him. Uh, when you look at Gary Green, he's uh, got all the tools, he's a big time linebacker, uh, we've had him in camp, got to work with him at camp, uh, you know, but then has all the leadership, has the character you're looking for, has a chance to finish as valedictorian uh, of his high school, um, that's the type of guys that you look for. Uh, you know, also, and if I start on the defensive side of the ball, you go to the linebacker position uh, with him with Deshaun Cooper. Uh, as a young guy, we had on a camp, extremely athletic, playmaking guy on defense, played at both sides of the ball, played wide receiver as well. Uh, it shows his athleticism uh, as a basketball player and uh, <coughs> in high school as well, and is going to be a guy that's going to come in and add a lot of athleticism with those two young linebackers uh, for us. And, and you look at Linebacks, the future is a position we have some good depth. We're going to have a big senior class next year that these guys are going to have to step up and go play at. Uh, the D line obviously is a huge, huge importance to us. And uh, you know, when you look at getting inside guys, uh, you know, Braxton Hoyet and um, Corey Thomas, uh, is going to be huge for us right now. And I, I know you guys wonder who are guys going to make an immediate impact. We, you know, I don't know. We'll find out when the season comes. Uh, but those are guys that are going to have to make immediate impacts in, in immediate in my mind, which might not be game one next year, but it's going to be in a hurry with four senior D tackles on the roster for next season. Uh, you know, next year there's going to be a huge gap. All of a sudden you look, you know, when you look at what you're losing, you're losing O-line and D-line. Uh, uh, take big hits after next season. You have to have guys ready to step in uh, and fill those positions. Uh, you get out to the Defensive end with Will Coleman coming in as a junior college player, an explosive pass rusher off the edge uh, on one side, and Grant Harris as a, uh, a big, strong, physical, deep, athletic D lineman on the other uh, defensive end. I'm sorry, on the other side. So, uh, really excited about uh, the defensive line group coming in. I know uh, that was going to be important for us just to uh, not maybe not fill the gaps that we have in August 30th for our first game but certainly are going to be critical for us in the future. Um, you look at the uh, uh, offensive line is the other one where we have a lot of seniors on the group next year. I said, told you already about Shotwell coming in early. Uh, and then, you know, you go on with well, Dion Calhoun, the first one. Uh, Dion's a guy that we had in camp, um, extremely athletic. You got to watch him play, does, did not play at, you know, at a restoration academy, played small school football. Uh, but you know, one thing you notice about him, he's got the size, I mean, he's 6'3", six, uh, six, three, 320 uh, plus on his visit. And uh, he wasn't 330, but he's still 320 plus. I'm going to keep him under that 330 mark. But when you have a guy with that thickness, that explosiveness and the athleticism that he has, uh, he's, he's a guy that, that we really need. Um, Elton Jenkins, who uh, couldn't be happier with in this class. I, I don't know if there was a better athlete for us uh, on the line coming to camp last summer. You know, our concerns with him were his size. And, uh, you know, he came on his visit at 6'4", 285, so that kind of threw the size concerns out. But 
the last couple of months, he's put on a lot of great weight and really matured and filled out and grown. And um, that, to me, uh, gets us really excited. He's a guy that uh, plays, takes that athleticism. Both those guys will look at the, the amazing athleticism they have uh, that we got to see firsthand. And then you look at the size that they've grown into is really special. Uh, Ronald Cochran, a really athletic young guy out of uh, Olive Branch. Uh, we project to be a tackle for us with his athleticism. And, uh, you know, a, a guy that when you look at and you try to judge and have had success the, the, with guys like this, you look at where they are now, where we expect them to be in the future. Uh, and he's obviously a guy that uh, we think is going to be pretty special for us. And shock. Jordan Harris is a monster out of uh, Stevenson High School in Atlanta. Uh, I know he has a little bit of academic work. We're going to catch up with on him and see where he's at. Um, uh, but we're, we're excited to have him on board. I know he fought back. He had a, a, a terrible injury his junior year. Really fought back and got healthy during his senior year. Uh, and we're excited to have him. Uh, let's see. Let's stick on offense right now. Uh, you get to Elijah Staley, a quarterback. Obviously one of the most important positions on the field. As I said, we have one enroll early. So that... Right now we have three going through spring ball, scholarship quarterbacks, but uh, I think I guess it's a good day for Mississippi State basketball as well as football. Getting that that text from Elijah, and, you know, he's a guy that when you look at his skill set, you know, of what he can do, he has size, he has great athletic ability, uh, he, he has a very he's a very natural thrower. Uh, the ball comes out of his hand smooth. There's no wind-up. There's no elongated motion. Uh, he's an accurate passer. That is, can, you know, when you look at the things and you take the natural skill set he has, when we get him coached up, you know, you're going to look at a guy of that size that hasn't gone through many off-seasons. He goes football right into basketball, into AAU, right into football, uh, where now he's going to get into a little bit more of a structured training session. Uh, he has the chance to be a very, very special player. And... Uh, you know, I think he's one that uh, I, I don't know how, I mean, I, as, I guess I have a pretty good quarterback track record, and, you know, he's not perfect, but pretty good quarterback track record. I had him as a five-star on our board. I don't know where everybody else ranked him, but we had him as a five-star player nationally. 